to be dropped. and greet you proper like, but I'm Wife Queen Murfetta, and I'm terrible charmed at your heroic personage. I'm about to head out on a mission, but if you'd lend us your aid, go talk to old Murph. Now, if you'll kindly excuse me, stranger, I have to address the troops. Now, look alive, you Murphs. This here mission we're setting out upon is a Murph in danger and then some. That wicked old whiz card done Murph napped our kinsman, and I aims to reclaim him. Let's move! As you command, my white queen! We're still we'll alive! We'll defend you and to that the means death! There's always this hope the end of us! Keep your Murph and Howdy do there, Hoss! Got the look of a tough today. as Murph fighter, don't you? Well, that's a sight for these old lies, cause we got us sailors a whole heap and helping a Murph in trouble around these parts. And all our fighters are off at the forward operating camp trying to take back our village. You hear to them blue ones? Nope. Why are they blue? Are they sad? They used to be our kinfolk, but they've been infected with something. Old Murph, these, these coming. And all the Murph and Murph. Reckon you're about to see for yourself. Take cover, y'all! Them blue ones is a coming! Oh, Murph. I'm, I'm too beautiful to die! Screw that person, noise! Next time, learn to pick an easier mark. Getting warmed up. and shame to kill kinfolk like that. But there's no cure for the blue rage, far as we know. College Murph was working on one before he got first snapped by that whiz car gargle snot. Speaking of which, Murfetta was trying to rescue that smarty pants. She should have checked in by now. Could you go make sure my wife Queen's all right? I's got to see to the other Murphs around camp, make sure ain't no one got bit. Be careful out there, stranger. Gargle's not so wily one. Not to be trusted. If anyone's hearing this, I'm in trouble. Gargle's not killed my queen's guard, and now he's... <sighs> Nope, um, um, everything's fine. We're, we're all fine here. Uh, uh, we're just uh, uh, having tea and uh, talking about our feelings. Am 
for the dice, the better the loot. Look alive, Don't mess with the best. Attention, stupid little Murphs! If you want to save your beloved wife, Queen, come to the village! <laughs> Ooh, I do not like the sound of that ominous chuckle. Oh, this is most upsetting. Uh, listen, stranger, Garble Snot was forcing me to help him with his experiments. I, I had no choice, but I did discover the truth. Garble Snot created the Blue Rage virus! saw part of his grand plan to wipe out the Murphs for good. And I also learned that there is no cure. Our infected brethren are forever lost to us. All we can do now is give them the peace of death. I need you to do something for me. Take this recipe and gather the ingredients around the forest. Oh, and Murphs, you might want to hurry. Or Murfetta could be a bit more blue than you remember. <laughs> that Murph licking Murph Murfer. College Murph, please tell me you got a plan to save our wife queen. I do indeed. I've sent the heroic looking stranger to gather supplies for Gargle Snot's mushroom enhancement potion. If my theory proves accurate, that should aid us in bypassing the barricaded village gate. I'll meet you at the forward operating base outside the village when you're done. Watch your ear. Gargle Snot's pet crab Azabel has been spotted in that area. What? What are you doing? You need my Azabel out of this. No! You monster! Now you listen here! You were a mere nuisance before, but now you've made this personal! 
Once I'm through with these Murphs, I'm coming after you! Serves you Murph and right, you evil Murph sucking whiz card. We Murphs have been carving out those rooftop shrooms to make our houses for generations. It's like to be a bit defensive. What do you want, the street? I think that's quite enough. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. Can't we work this out so we all walk away? Preferably with me walking away, Rick. Stranger, you're approaching the lair of the hate troll known only as... Hey! Take the hate troll! Hey, Murphs! Got all the... Very gross things we needed. What now? Splendid! Reconvene with old Murph and I at the forward camp. The cauldron is prepared. I'll keep the double-double toil and bubble bath boiling for you.
Uh, hey, are you metal enough to help us? Particulars into the suit. Presto Murpho, vile. There you are. One mushroom enhancement potion. Piping hot. Fresh as it gets. Wonderful. Now, I've calculated the approach angle and velocity of the combined vectors. Uh, using the potion on. That mushroom right there will lead to quite the amazing ride. Which should put you in the optimal position to open the gate for the rest of us. <laughs> now commence to jumping, y'all. <laughs> jumping Jiminy! Hot diggity Murph. It worked. <laughs> now get that gate open so we can land an assist. <laughs> Are you ready to rock? Come on, men. We's got to take back our homes and find my wife clean. <laughs> you call the town crier? I'm a menace. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, where are you? If you can hear me, dear, say something. Don't worry, love. We're coming. There. That crystal must be the source of the blue rage. And Gargle's not using it to turn Murfetta into one of them things. Wife Queen, can you hear me? Say something, girl! <laughs> Murph me right in the murfer. This looks all kinds of bad. But I think I know what I got to do. I'm gonna cleanse the crystal. Keep them blue ones off of me. <laughs> oh, you can do better than that. I'm so sorry. 
sorry, old Murph. <laughs> All according to plan. Delicious. Gargle snot. You come on out and show yourself. I'm a Murph and kill you for this. As you wish, daughter. Time for our first and last father daughter dance. He was a good man. No time for friends! Good riddance! Come here, stranger. Let me thank you proper luck. <clears throat> With Gargle Snot dead and the corrupted crystal cleansed, I think we Murphs can finally start rebuilding our lives. It's a real Murph and shame that old Murph won't be around to see it, though. Truffle hunts won't never be the same without him. <sighs> but you've done us a real kindness this day. There's no way I can thank you enough, but I hope this'll do.
I'm Sinistrella, front woman for talons of bone flesh. Hail Zygaxis! Praise be unto his dark name. Basically, we're the most metal band in the world, but our outfits and instruments could definitely be more model. More spikes and horns and stuff. We were hoping you could help with that. Let's go with a natural material, like wood. But it's gotta be like evil wood from an evil tree. You get me? I guess I've seen things more far-fetched than an evil tree. Yeah. There's supposed to be this wicked evil tree somewhere in the forest. See if you can find it. We really need some new super metal style gear. I can't say I'm not curious. Man, we're gonna look and sound so sick with this new gear. We'll show those posers in flagrant apocalypse who's the most metal. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that! You sniveling crap stain! Yeah, I hope you did! You thin skin, rich boy, metal wannabe! Ooh. I'm more metal than anyone! Anyone! Especially you! Yeah, whatever you say, Aiden! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Archon! Is it? Is that what your mommy writes in the undies she buys you? <laughs> oh, Disrespect oh, 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 by my person will not go unpunished, Cindy. Call me that one more time, and I'll sacrifice you to our dark demonic Lord Zygaxis. Who? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, is that your widowed imaginary friend? Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. You'll pay for that insult, little man. Uh, what? I said you'll pay for that insult, little man! Oh, okay, got it. Yes, yes. You'll suffer in ways you could never imagine. <laughs> what? Nothing! Never mind! Okay!
You see, a super duper mega crazy evil looking tree, and it's bleeding, and it's it's like it's like ah, what well, is it? Ah, but it's it's evil. You know it's evil. It looks evil. Well then, an evil tree. Oh no. And it's surrounded by skelly mages. They attack. Defend the roots. The bloody roots. <laughs> <laughs> the evil tree wards off your paltry ranged attacks. It appears you will have to get more up close and personal with this evil eggs. Whoa! Is that tree life bleeding? That is so metal! So, so metal. Wait, is the wood still yeah. bleeding even after it's been hacked off the tree? How does that work? And for that matter, how does a tree... Yeah, that should do nicely. Very nicely indeed. Bring it to us. The challenge of both getting a metal makeover. <laughs> Wait, maybe we aren't metal at all. What should we call it? Oh, a dark! A dark! Yes, I can feel it. Our dark demonic lord Zygoxus is most pleased. Look how he blesses us with sick ass new gear. Hail Zygoxus! Praise be unto his dark name. Now, adventurer, let us reward you with a song. Prepare your ears. As well as your soul. Hail Zygoxus! Praise be unto his dark name. You feel the evil power of the evil cords rubbing evilly in your heart soul. Heart soul? It's a big shut up! <laughs> it's working! Our music is so metal! Literally raising the dead! Uh, what is happening right now? The power of the metal is summoning dead boys! Oh. Well, we should probably stop that though, right? Probably. There's some uh, loudifiers you can shut off. Speakers? That was a dumb one. Speakers. You absolute fat! I love it! Uh, these fans are getting a little aggro. Damn, son. Ain't you ever been in a mosh pit before? It's aggro as hell. I will! 
I just need the adventurer's help first. Uh, fine. Go help him. This should be amusing. So we're Playground Apocalypse, and you've probably heard of us. We're like legendarily metal, but like, I can't believe you actually helped those loser sellouts in talents of bone flesh. But look, I can show them up with some real dark magic. I stole this page out of my mo out of this powerful witch's grimoire. It's a spell called the Hellhammer. I just need you to gather the magical reagents. Here, take it. I'm gonna, like, guess that I don't need to explain any of this stuff to an adventurer of your caliber. <laughs> Even though I totally, definitely know the actual reagents needed for it. <laughs> I did try to conduct this spell with some clever substitutions at home, but all it did was overcook my breakfast pastry. <laughs>
Tyrant's literal brain. Yeah, of course. I knew that's what it meant. I, I tried to use a passive-aggressive sticky note my mom left me. <sighs> Talk about a tyrant. I hate her so much.
Sobelisk will summon a mushroom monstrosity. A ferocious pandas! I shall never answer for my... I tried to use my older brother's chess club trophy. <laughs> Such a freaking wimp. I hate him so much! Looks like you've gotten all the reagents we need. <laughs> so get back here already! I need to show those tools how metal Plague Rat Apocalypse really is!
So the cauldron is like ready for the reagents you got. Dump them in there so I can do my dark magics and whatnot. Okay, so like, <laughs> stand back. Because I don't think you're ready for the face meltingly metal crap I'm about to show you. This one starts with a totally sick as hell solo. You guys just come in after it, yeah? Demonic Lords! <laughs> Are you seeing this? Do you see how friggin' metal I am? Fascinating. I suppose this means the other band is the most metal by elimination. They were casting a spell, you see. Then they were immolated entirely. Do you know what this means, guys? We are officially the most metal band in the world. We are so metal. Super metal. There's only one thing left to do. The most metal thing of all. Let me give you your reward, adventurer. For your services to the most metal band in the world, we give you the ultimate reward to be a human sacrifice to our dark demonic lord Zagoxus. The band comes at you with a demonic frenzy. You we'll have no choice but to fight for your life. That was foolish of them, now, wasn't it? Well, now you've gone and done it. How am I supposed to cast him out of mischief without a body to possess? Ah, Zygaxis, is it? I didn't really have a choice there, did I? They did hit first. You're right. I suppose this isn't on you. And... Well, I guess you were only trying to help. Come, I will reward your efforts, but there's something I'd like you to do for me in return. And helping me out is really the least you could do to make amends? It was going pretty well until they tried to kill me. Yeah, that'll happen around here. Now the first thing we have to do is find the Shade Bar Grimoire so you can recite my true name. Meet me in Bradhoof. And he teleports away in a demonically magical poop. Wait, Ziggy Wits. He's already gone, Boo. But why doesn't he just tell us his true name? Uh, cause that's not how demons work. Brett, back me up, girl. That is indeed not how demons work. See? Told you, dummy. Thank you. 